throughout football history, wise men have congregated to bring you the best stats, predictions, and analysis of the game. These are not those men. Three derelict Oakland Raiders fans expelled from clown school for shaping inappropriate balloon animals at children's birthday parties and borrowing the school clown car to attend a Murphy's Law gig in Brooklyn. With no ambitions outside of rodeo barrel racing and the Shiner Circus. All right, nobody wants to listen to all that nonsense. We are those men. We are. (laughs) What's going on? What's happening, people? Splatterheads here. Yeah, and Groby's here. And you're listening to the Fan Club Blitz. Yes! Episode 51. Uh, really? Wow. It seems like we haven't done one in a long time. We haven't. I know. And uh, Fitz was going to try to join yes. us today. Yeah. He didn't bother to tell us he was infected. He was going to come by yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. We have, you know, the local news says... You says know. that the the football team, the <laughs> Newton Braves... <laughs> that he's uh, the strength and conditioning where, coach for. Where Fitz is the strength and conditioning <laughs> coach, uh, has come down with the COVID. Yes. <laughs> he was just going to pop by anyway without yeah, telling us about that. He was going to show up. He don't believe in the COVID. Yeah, He's like, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Listen, we discussed this. Yes. I don't care if you got a cold. <laughs> don't come. Don't come over here. <laughs> Stay away. Yes. I don't care if it's COVID, the flu, a <laughs> yeah. cold. Yeah, I don't care if you have a headache. Don't come over. You got the squirts. <laughs> yeah, just stay home. Stay man. home. <laughs> we don't want any of that yes. stuff. Yeah. So it's common sense, brother. Yeah. You know, so, hey, um, football's back. Yeah. I've been a long time waiting for football to come back, man. For the love of God, don't take football away from us. No. That's the only thing we got. No, I know. And now look. To to paraphrase Peter Griffin. Now look, the the (laughs) Vikings and the Titans have canceled practice. Yeah. Well, you know, those Tennessee people, I don't think there's, you know, too much. What are you waving for? Because there was a little fly flying around in here. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. It seems to come from the Titans people. He's insulting you, Murph. Yes. Insulting the (laughs) Tennessee people. Those those Tennessee people with their exporting COVID. Yeah. (laughs) Or it could have come from Minnesota. It could have, yes. You so know. we yeah. don't know. Yeah, we don't know, yeah, but, you don't know. But it's uh, but from what I read. This stop morning, this it, nonsense now. But from what I read, it was all the Titans. Nobody on the, the Vikings. So, OK. You know. So the Vikings are just taking precautions. Yes. Yeah. They just got to do what they got to do. But yeah. All right. Well, it sucks because we don't want that stuff to spread through the NFL. No. So because we want football to continue. Sure. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe yeah. we want football to continue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're a Jets fan. <laughs> uh, Jesus. But, uh, yeah, you know, but I, I kind of expected little snags here and there. Of course. You know. Yeah. Baseball's been pulling it off. They had a few snags in the beginning. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens, man. And they've been traveling all over. So. Right now, we just roll with it. Yeah. And uh, That's it. Roll with it and have fun, yeah. you know. So the Raiders are three and zero. No, we beat the <laughs> we beat the <laughs> the Panthers. <laughs> we beat the Saints, yes. and we kicked the snot out of the Patriots for <laughs> a quarter and a half. A quarter and a half. Um, <laughs> so we're, without scoring much. So the Raiders are two point three and zero. Yeah. <laughs> so I got over my. You know, you know, Sunday night, I was like, well, that was just disappointing, man. It was more it was so disappointing only because the first half. Yes. Was was the first two weeks of the team. Right. It was close. It was even better. The defense was incredibly cohesive in the first half. Yes. And, uh, you know, we were we were getting all amped up and Mm -hmm. enjoying the game. And it was a good football game. Yes. And then. It became not a good football game yeah, it became, very quickly. Uh, the Raiders football we come to know and love, and and so I was incredibly disappointed, man. Yes, and then I came, you know, after a couple of days, you know, here it is Tuesday, and I'm like, yeah, I'm used to being disappointed by this team. So what the <laughs> hell, I, you know what what am I what am I going to be disappointed about? Yeah, I don't know? know. I don't know. I mean, it's more annoying to me that the Chiefs keep winning. 
sure. and they're going to keep winning. And they're, yes, they are. You know, they're, yeah, they're just going to keep rolling on. You know, I mean, I can't stand Mahomes. I can't stand, you know, Andy Reid. I no. can't stand that team, but they're good. They are good. They're yes. good football team. Yes. He's a good quarterback. Yes. You know, it took me. I, you know, I wasn't convinced season one. You know, but I got to give the kid credit, man. Sure. He's a good quarterback. Sure. He's, uh, you know, he's got the 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 gonads to go out there and and do what it takes to yeah. make plays. Yes. And win games. Yeah. And uh, even when they're down, you know, yes. he just they just come back and. Yeah. Fire on all cylinders yes. and win football games, and yes. it sucks as a Raiders fan. Well, on the same note, um, <laughs> the Patriots are a hell of a lot better than they were last year. <laughs> yeah, no, I, that's that's you know what I'm saying. Yeah, they. Uh, you... Well, here's 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 the thing, and and you know, Sunday, Johnny and company got thoroughly outcoached. By the Billy Checks and outplayed and, and and outplayed, Belichick had was in Gruden's ear all week about we have to stop Waller. Waller ran wide open all game. Well, and I, they stopped Jacob. I'm going to fire back on that though because I watched a little bit of the the you know I watched a little bit of you know a few clips from the the post game you know conferences or whatever. Yeah. I don't know if he got so much in in Gruden's ear, or if he got more in Derek Carr's ear, because well, Johnny calls the plays. But Gruden Gruden came out at the presser and said they didn't take Waller out of the game. We had Waller open. Yeah, and then and but, but, and and then Derek comes in going, well, it was hard to tell. You know, you think they're going to double him up, and so you go this way instead, and then you yeah. realize he was open. I, I you know. I don't know. Yeah, I you know, I I read him saying, well, you know, he had Waller open, but you know, Johnny sends mixed signals on a lot of the times. He'll say that this week and it'll say I'm the one that calls the plays, it's on me. The next week. Well, I yeah. You know. Yeah. So it's like, you know, I uh, yeah, I don't stop know. Stop with the mixed signals, you know, but like me and you talked about. You know, sooner or later, Carr's just going to have to look and go, "Okay, that guy's open. The hell with the play. I'm throwing it to no, him." No, no. I know? I disagree. What I said was the quarterback of this football team is going to have to do that. Yes. I don't know if Carr has it in him. Yeah, well, God forbid. If we see Mariota, we're done. <laughs> we're well, done, man. Yeah. I'm, I don't t- know. I'm taking me, a lot of naps on Sunday afternoons if, if we see Mariota. To me, they're the same guy. Nah, nah. I, I, I don't, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't. Mari- I, Mariota, I, Mariota's a wonder kid that lost his job to a wonder kid who ha- who hadn't panned out until the second half of last season. I am not. So, I am not. You know. You know. Yeah. I, I've said T- it. Tannehill's like another Fitz Magic. I've said it. You know? I've said it a million times. I am not. I'm done with Derek Carr excuses. Yeah. I, I, I'm know. like you know. Here's what kills me, and I've said this a million times too. But if I have to look at that guy. Walk off the field and go sulk on the bench yeah, by himself yeah. one more down, time. Yeah. I'm gonna break something. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm just gonna lose my mind. Sure. Man. What are you doing? Yeah. He, 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 what yeah. are you doing? Keep yes. your head in the game. Get on the sideline. Yeah. Lead your team. Yeah. Yell at people. Grab your do, players. Say we got to do this. We got to do that. Something. Yes. But he's either sitting on the bench or he's standing there with that all shucks look on his face. Yeah. And it, it's just, it's like defeatism. Sure. I can't handle it. Sure. I can't deal with it. That's not, that. the problem is we have guys on this team that want to go out there and ball. Yes. We have guys that want to go out there and kick ass. And yes. it's obvious yes. that, that we've got a great you know, core of young, aggressive, <laughs> yes, eager we, talent. Oh, oh, yes, we do. That are... Not only are they dedicated to the game, but they're dedicated to the team. Yeah. You know, you got... And dedicated to each other. You got one-year guys that haven't even finished their first season that are out there getting Raiders tattoos, you know? Yeah. That's... They love the team. They love, you know, the history of the team. They want to go, and none of them are out there playing like they're just playing for themselves. They're They're all out there trying to win for the team. Yeah. But somebody's got to lead them. 
Yes. Somebody's got to got to be the leader of this team. Yeah. And I know everybody loves DC because he's a, a preacher and he <laughs> doesn't say potty words. He's squeaky clean. He doesn't drink the tequila or smoke the reefer. Or do the. I want a quarterback that does all that. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I you know the. I want a quarterback to sit in poolside smoking a big stogie with a cocktail with chicks the all Raiders over. Like are, the Raiders now. are supposed to show up to the locker room on game day yeah. with the helmet flipped over with a six-pack and a bunch of ice in it <laughs> and a bag of Quaaludes. <laughs> and then they're supposed to go out there and win the game. <laughs> Okay, and we had that for a long time. We did. <laughs> then they changed the rules. They did. <laughs> <laughs> Which incidentally coincided with us starting a losing streak. <laughs> keep, keep, and keep the pills away from Waller. Yeah, you know. But look, there's, there's just got to be some, some, uh, somebody leading the yes. damn team. Yes. You know, I, I don't know. I the don't know. The play calling is also suspect. It is. It yeah, is. I, mean, I understand that stat that I that I I texted you. The first two games of the season, more than one third of the time, they went play action, and they and they rolled points. They rolled the teams. Right. Sunday. Yeah. I, two I, plays. I, yeah. And those two plays went for forty-seven yards. Yeah. But that's it. Two plays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, one third of your plays the first two weeks each week, and then and then two. And nobody, nobody text or email or call this show and start telling me about the refs and yeah, you know, Jacobs recovered his own fumble yeah, and all no. that. I don't care. Yeah, exactly, you have to expect that crap. Yeah, we're the Raiders. Yeah, the, the I mean, look, they, they, they. Yeah. So, it's it's not a coincidence that all of a sudden we went from like the second least penalized team in the NFL over the first two weeks, right? To all of a sudden, every three plays a flag, right? It's no coincidence. Look where we were playing. Yeah, no coincidence. But that's that's part of the game. That's part. You got to understand that you need to you need to expect that. And you know, you know? they treated us very fairly in yes. Las Vegas yes. at our home opener. Exactly. We you know. I don't know yeah. if we got any flags. For that team I don't game. even know. I don't like, even know. You know, I mean, <coughs> compared to what we're used to, we yeah. didn't get any flags well, in that game. I, I seen something. Something popped up in a game up during a game. I think it was during a game, or I might have been on Twitter while we were on a break or whatever. But uh, it said they committed like uh, I don't know six penalties in two games. Right. And then like in the first six minutes of that game, they had four. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. It was some some odd thing I remember seeing. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't know. You know, we've been talking for 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 several minutes. Here. Yes, I don't know, thirteen minutes or something okay. like that. What are we drinking? We're both drinking the same thing. Okay, we're both drinking the same thing. We're drinking here, there, be monsters. It's an America I American IPA from Twin Elephant Brewing Company in Chatham, New Jersey. This is this is a banging IPA. This man. is killer, man. <laughs> this is textbook. That's textbook IPA. Right? It is. Look at it. It's yeah. It's double dry hop. I wish you guys could 7. see 7. this. Seven point seven. Yeah. I mean, if you could see this beer, if Potts was here. You could listen to it. Yeah, Potts. Potts. Yeah, the beer whisperer. Uh, Potts would be is like, going to get offended if I, he hears me say that. Yeah, the the beer whisperer would be like, "Ooh, this beer sounds good. I think I'll drink it." <laughs> I wish he was here. Yes, we wish he was here. But uh, yeah, that's where it's from. I don't know. Anybody can reach out to these guys. Twin Elephant Brewing Company, Chatham, New Jersey. Um, here, there be monsters, and it's got some. Picture of a kraken eating a ship. Yeah, <laughs> on the label. So it's a beautiful, beautiful hazy. Yes, yes. you can't see any light through this yes. beer. Uh, man. You know, I mean, uh, the one we just brewed looks awfully similar. It does. It does. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I, you know, football. Yeah, it's back, yes. and it's uh, you know, we'll see what happens, man. I mean, we got the Bills next. That's t- that's gonna be tough. That's a tough game, man. Yeah. That's a tough game. That's gonna be you know? tough. But it but it is. It's one it's one week at a time. Yeah. And you know, I don't know. Um you know, we got some tough games coming up, man. Yeah. You got you got the Bills, you got the Chiefs, you got <laughs> Tampa Bay. Yeah. It's well, although I don't think Tampa yeah, Bay's tough. Yeah. Everybody's like on oh, no. Tampa Bay, add to that yeah, list. Yeah, Why? Yeah, Tampa Bay beat two bad teams, I think, or one bad team. 
Yeah. Yeah, they beat the Broncos, right? And they lost to the Saints. And they lost to the Saints, yeah. So, you know. But everything yeah. is one week at a time. Yeah, exactly. It's not with every team. Yeah. It's except for the Chiefs. Cause yeah. I, yeah, the Chiefs and the Patriots, you kind of pretty much you know, know what's going to happen and, and in the, those the, two spots. You know, the 49ers are all banged up, yeah, you know. Yeah, they're, they're hard. I mean, they were all in wheelchairs, but they still were able to beat the Giants. <laughs> but I think me and you could beat the Giants. I think so, too. You know? <laughs> I yeah. mean, yeah. <laughs> And they don't even have Shaquan out there, no. you know? So, yeah, we could roll through them. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. We could have rolled through the Raiders' defense in the second half oh, on Sunday. Yeah, Christ, yeah, easily. It's. Uh, I mean, I could, I could have rushed and got seven yards of carry yeah. on them in I the mean, second half. You know, yeah. <laughs> Belichick just got into their heads, man. Yeah, he did. He got into their yep. heads. He yep. got into, definitely got in. Their car was getting a lot of pressure. Yeah. And he does not work well under pressure. Yeah. You know, he's no. not like Mahomes, that, yeah. you know, just doesn't care. Yeah. That kid don't care. Yeah. You get, you're on me, whatever. I'm still going to make a play. Yeah. You know, or you got, you're going to have to take me down, but I'm yes. most likely I'm going to make a play. Yes. And, uh, yeah, DC is not, he's that, he's not that guy. No. He's not a scrambler. He's no. not, I, I mean, I did like, you know, he did, he did, you know, yeah. move his legs a little bit and make yeah, something he, happen. Yeah, he and, extended some stuff. So, yeah. that, you know, that was good seeing him run around. Yeah. I, you know, that that's good. Maybe, Look, he had, a, he had an amazing yes. game in week two. Yes. I mean, you know. But I, I need a, a, to, As much as not seeing Waller open on some plays, when they got into that thing in the second half and it was just constant Jacobs, rush hands-offs, not getting anything, quick yeah. screen passes, not getting it, and it was just constant. And, and we were all like, why? Yeah, why? Why are you doing this? And that ain't coming from him. That's coming from the sidelines, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and none of it was working, no matter I mean, how many times they tried it. There's it, Your running back is not getting any positive yardage <laughs> yes. in the run game. Yes. There is no point <laughs> passing the ball three yards in the flat to him. To him. <laughs> it, <laughs> the, yes. it, it's just no point. Yeah, exactly. And, and at a certain point, like, I, I, you know, I, I don't know. Chucky. You know, you want to get up by 20 and pound a rock, fine. I know Chucky. But you don't pound a rock when no, you're down exactly. by 20. No, <laughs> exactly. Especially when you have four good wide receivers. Especially on when you're playing against Belichick. Yes. He's going to control the clock. Yes. He's better at it than you are. Oh, far better. And everybody knows that. Yes. You knew that when you were yes. in the booth. Yes. The guy is, time management is his thing. He's yep. a defensive guy. He's not even, <laughs> He's you know, not even an offensive dude. His and, offensive guy is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. You're Chucky, you're supposed to be the offensive yeah, guy. Yeah, you're supposed to be the offensive guru. And you know? uh, I'm not seeing it right now because, no. you know, it's like when I coached like seventh and eighth grade football, right? I was never, a, uh, I wasn't a, a, you know, a skill coach. I was, a, I was an assistant coach. I wasn't the offensive coordinator. Yeah. I wasn't the head coach. Um, but we, we, you know, we had an offensive coordinator who he was sold on his offense. Yeah. He was only reason he was, he didn't even have a kid on the team. Only reason he was coaching is because he knew this offense was going to work, and he convinced the guy that was coaching the team, you know. And uh, it didn't work. <laughs> but no matter what, you had to run it. He was still convinced of it. Yes. Like, no, we got to change things, dude. Yes. We're getting our butts kicked. Yes. This isn't working. Yes. It doesn't matter how many times you try it. It yes. doesn't work. And I think with Chucky, I think his offense and, 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 and again, the first two weeks of the season, they made adjustments yeah. on the fly when they had to. Sunday they didn't. No. They didn't they didn't do anything. They just like completely just eh. <laughs> Yeah. I mean that second half was atrocious, yes. man. It was disgusting. Yes. And I was embarrassed, man. Sure. They had the Patriots guy there yeah. from the radio. And I had him all set up because we were looking good in the first half. Sure. I thought we were going to score yeah. first. Everything. He, you know, he actually kind of had a look of worry on his face when he came over and talked to us. Yeah. You know. And he had a look of worry that whole first half. Yes. And uh, I actually ordered him a Shirley Temple. And had it sitting on my table. Was yeah. going to have one of the waiters take it over to him. You know. I should have drank the damn thing myself. I just let it sit there. <laughs> Didn't I say that to you? Yeah. Hey, man, you got to let that Shirley Temple get warm. <laughs> I should have. I should have. I should have drank it on video and sent it to Gruden and say, this is for you. Yeah. 
We, okay. had to, we had to drink Shirley Temple's in Jersey because he's a dumb player. I calling. bought this <laughs> to give to the Pats fan <laughs> that's always at our bar. Yep. Okay. I bought this to give to him when we kicked their ass. Yeah. And you, and you it failed. Up. You screwed yes. it up. And now I got to drink a flat, <laughs> yes. warm Shirley Temple. Yes. It doesn't even have a cherry in it. Yes. Terrible. So we. So should we take a break and then come back and discuss the uh, defensive? coaching situation yeah let's do that (laughs) the autumn wind is a pirate blustering in from sea with a rollicking song he speaks yo it's splatterhead and groby and during football season you can find us at the irish cottage inn home of the new jersey chapter of the black hole fan club the Irish Cottage Inn is located at 602 Route 23 North in Hamburg slash Franklin, New Jersey. It's on the line. It's on the border. <laughs> Only we're over the line. We're over the line. So come on down, have a few beers with uh, some Raiders fans. Yeah. All right. The Niebuhr Nation. Checking out. And Raider Nation out. Raider Nation is never out. Is never out. And we're back from break. Sure we are. And, uh, yeah, so we talked about the offense. Yes. And we talked a little – we touched a little bit on the defense. But yeah. But let's, let's, let's go down that road, man. Yeah. Um, I was really impressed the first half of the game. I was like, where did this fucking defense come from? Sure. Oh, look, I just – Murph, you're going to have to edit that. I mean, we actually had linebackers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, and you know, and they were making plays. Yes. On the Patriots. Yes. And uh, then we we went to halftime. Yeah. And we yeah. came back, and it was the same old crap again. Yeah, other than Farrell and Crosby. Yeah. <laughs> Those two guys balled out the whole Farrell's game. Farrell's balling this season. Yeah. Those and, two and, two- and I thought he was balling last season. Yeah. People were giving him crap because he yeah. wasn't, you know... <clears throat> Farrell's a great player, man. Yeah. And uh those those two guys balled out the rest of the game. Yeah. I mean the whole game they did, you know. So what happened? What what now well part of it is the offense couldn't stay on the field in the second half. Yeah. So the defense, you know defenses get gassed, man. That's hard work out there. Yeah, it is. It's not you know, it's a whole different mindset and Physical yeah. physicality yeah. than you, playing you, offense. You, you get gassed by Billy Check, and he knows that. Oh yeah, you yeah, know, and he takes advantage of it. Of course, and and that's what Chucky wants to do. It's what yes. we did to the Saints. That's yes. what we did. Yeah, uh, you know. It, yes, but we um, got, but I, for some reason, it, it seemed like there was like really no upfront pressure going into the second half. Nothing. Yeah. It was like you know. So let let's, they, they 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 hand it off at will. Does, and, does, got, and got six, seven, eight yards um, in chunks. Do we see Marinelli with the headset on? How, uh, next week? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I think after the bye, maybe. Maybe. Uh, you know, we're playing a couple tough teams. We are. I mean, I don't know if we exactly have to win these games, but the defense has to make a stand. Yeah. And the defense has to show up. And They have to show up for four quarters. Yeah. They not, do, yeah, not, not yes. They have to show up the whole game, and we can't get blown out. No. I mean, if we don't, I mean, it's one. I mean, we lose twenty one seventeen. We lose twenty four twenty three. Defense right. shows up. Defense makes stops. You know. Yeah. Okay. I I may give Gunther a. Okay, we'll give you a, like another couple games chance, but right. If defense tanks these next two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, we can't keep him on. I mean, how long is Gunther's leash with Chucky and with Mark Davis? I don't know. I don't know. I I mean, because Ken Norton Jr.'s was pretty long, man. No matter, (laughs) but no matter, no matter what you think of of Chucky as a coach or whatever, um, he does want to win. Yes, and and if he, I think if he feels like the defense is. Uh, letting yeah, letting them down. Yeah, um, I don't know how long that leash is for. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think the leash was long last year. I don't think it's that long this year. Right. You know, I. 
I really think he, he would be on the chopping block at this point. Yeah, because yeah, he, he, he's under the gun. Because right he now. brought Gunther in for a reason. Yeah, he brought Gunther in for for you know. Like, uh, yeah, I was excited about Gunther, and you yes. th- th- you know that. Yes. Um, um, Hell, it, man! It I mean, his Cincinnati defenses were monster hitting defenses. Yeah, they still you didn't know? win anything. They didn't win anything. But you, you got to put that on the offense but, too. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, yeah, their offense is crap. But you know, they didn't get blown out. No. You know, and they put a hurting on people. Yeah, they may lost the game, but you know that team left left Cincinnati going. Oh man, but <laughs> you know, part of that too is it's it's a different division. It's yeah, a diff- you know, I, I mean it's it's tough. It's, yeah, it's um, uh, like I again, I was excited about Gunther. Yeah, based on. Cincinnati's defense. Yes, I, right? I, I think the whole. But I, but I think also when you have monsters like Burfitt, right, that are a little bit out of their minds, right? Yeah. It it it's um, yes. Uh, yeah, but I mean, we got some great guys, man. Crosby's a monster. Oh, we got we 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 got killer guys on defense. Yeah, really do, and they want to eat people alive. Yeah, they do. They want to eat quarterbacks. Yes. yes. They 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 want to uh, put a hurting on whatever offense they're opposing. Sure, it's just not happening. No. Not for a whole game. No, and um, I don't know. I don't know. I I, I am. We also didn't blitz too much no. on Sunday. No, but I mean that's more kind than of... the first. I mean the first couple of games we blitzed all the time. I mean it didn't work all the time, but. Well, it's never going to work all the time, but we, especially it's not going to work all the time but, when you're playing Drew Brees. But we, but we constantly sent people. Sunday we didn't constantly send people. Yeah. You know, you know. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I, I I don't mean, know. Mad, Mad Max had to fight for the sacks he got. Man. I, look, you know. Here, here's let let's. I've gotten over the disappointment. I've got. I've said my piece on Derek Carr. Yeah. I, I I know. I know. I get it. I get it. He's a nice kid. He wants to be a Raider. He, he, but you have to earn that. <laughs> sure, you know. And and as fans, like I, I get it. Half the fans, you know, are are just going to apologize for this kid no matter what. They're going to sure. find every excuse out there. I understand. It. You like him. Yeah. You like him. He's a nice kid. He's a great role model for your families. Blah blah blah. I don't. Re- I don't care about any of that. No. I still think he's being used in the wrong way because I get I grew, Fresno State. He was a bomber, man. I grew up, you know, <laughs> and, now, and now you're asking him to throw these dink and dunk check down crap, seven yard passes, this and that. I, I grew up with, with you, know, you know, you know, Kenny Stabler. Yeah, not a great role model for your kids. No, great role model for my kids. Yeah, but I'm different. Yes, my family is different than your families, and that's yeah. okay. Yeah, um, but. You know, I mean, my kid's doing great. My son, he's yeah. doing great, and I, he, you know, I he grew up hearing stories about the snake and yeah. You know, he's uh, he had a great role model. Yeah, I I still think you know. I mean, you look at the uh, you know you get you get right you pick up these receivers. You know it it leads you to believe they're gonna let. I mean, because Carr in college, man, he was a buy. The, the kid's throwing, what, 5,800 yards a year? You, you know? Yeah. He, he was a mad bomber, you know? And then he gets, a, you know, then the Gruden comes in. Now he wants him to do all this dink and dunk crap. You know? I mean, 16, when he was good, Del Rio had him throwing deep passes. Sure. To everybody. Yeah. You know? It wasn't this... You know, check down screen crap, no, seven yard. But, but I, un, I understand. And then they get away from that all of a sudden, and and now the team went back to being bad. But I, I, I it, that's not a coincidence. No, but but <laughs> look, you know, I understand, and especially I, in the off season, since you addressed the wide receiver problem with speed and guys supposedly that have short hands. Well, everybody's out, but from what I've seen of Aguilar, okay, he's righted the ship from what he was in Philly, but. You have the wide receivers. Throw the ball. No, and I, and I, I <laughs> and, think, he, and and he has enough time to throw the ball. I think that's just going back to Chucky being way too committed to his yes his his system. Yes, I, your system's good, but you got to adapt a little bit to the league as it is now. A West Coast system will not work unless you throw the ball to the wide receivers and open them up. Right. 
No. Sam, it, that, that whole thing was designed by the 49ers, who had literally almost the two most prolific wide receivers well, in now, the history of the game. Th- I, and a quarterback there, that threw the ball to him. There, there's, that's, that, there's a little confusion about that, because the what we think of as the West Coast offense, as the 49ers style, is not is not really the West Coast offense. The West Coast offense is really closer to what Chucky plays. Yeah. Um, and I get it. You're, you're, you know, you're going to run the ball. You're going to, you're going to dink and dunk. And that's going to allow you to open up the field. Okay. Yeah. But because it's, not, it's, it's also, it's also not 1972. No, it's just, you know, <laughs> I, 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 I think that you have to, you have to be willing to adapt a yes. little bit yeah. and and understand that it's a lot of it is going to be based on your opponent man yeah you you can't keep going out there and 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 running the same plays on first down no 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 that again play calling predictable first, first couple of weeks okay yes. you know why a lot of play action a lot of mixing right. it up yeah. last week no yeah, None. It, it's at all. Yeah, and and so maybe they 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 adapted for the Patriots, but they did it incorrectly. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I'm hoping that you know people were saying was week two a fluke. Well, here's to here's to hoping week three was a fluke. Yeah, that's you know that's you know? kind of the way I'm looking at it. You know, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, you know. But again, I've just committed myself to. You know, I was one of the people that thought. Yeah, New England's not going to be any good. Right, and, but uh, and, and I watched the game, and you know what? They're the same New England Patriots that we've seen for twenty years, and if and they're way better than they were last year. Well, that's because <laughs> that's because oh. Belichick, you know, Belichick coaches. He designs his game plan, yeah. based on the players that he has on the field. Yes, and that's why when Brady's suspended. He can still go out and win games. Yes. When Gronk is injured, he can still go out and play games and win. Yeah. And now he's got Cam Newton, and yeah. he's he's designing this game for yes. Cam Newton. Exactly. And uh, and it's you know you can't knock you know you can't knock Belichick for being a great coach, man. No. He, he's he might be the best. <laughs> to, I would have to say he might be the best to have coached this game. You I would, know? I would have to say, and uh, and uh, unfortunately, you know, Andy Reid's right up there too, man. Yeah, Andy Reid is pretty good, and uh, you know, you know, I mean, Belichick's got more championships. Yeah, <laughs> Andy, but Andy proved that uh, you know, you 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 give him the right guy. Yeah. And uh, he'll get you through the playoffs. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He just, he, yeah. The only thing Andy Reid ever needed was a quarterback, and he yep. got one. He got now one. Now he finally has one. And uh, yeah. these guys are going to be unstoppable for yeah. a long time. Yes. Unless, you know, I mean, eventually their cap space is going to go to crap. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But they're they're going to be tough to beat for sure. a long time. You know. And, uh, and we have a tough division, man. Yeah. I mean, there's two other teams in our division that are, can play really good football. But they haven't yet. No, the Chiefs and the, the Chargers can play, man. Yeah. They can play. Uh, well, the Chargers, like, they can you play. Know, showed everybody the blueprint to how to stop Mahomes. Yeah, they can play. And, yeah, you know, which is mind boggling to me that the Ravens didn't look at that. No, I know. Because <laughs> they didn't do anything the Chargers did. Yeah, well, and Mahomes even alluded to it. He's like, yeah, well, you know, last week, you know, they were coming at me, you know. But, you know, we managed to get the job done. He even said that. Yeah. You know, okay, go at him. I, I can I can say this. I, I was hoping. You know, I mean, in my 40-some years of watching football, you had a lot of great quarterbacks. You let them stand there. They're going to pick you apart all day. You start chasing them around, hitting them, getting them out of their stuff. No. I was hoping that the Ravens were going to win that game last night. Yeah. But at the same time, I have felt like the Ravens are overhyped. They uh, they really are. And they really are overhyped. What I was hoping was that somehow the Chiefs were going to buy into that. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, the Chiefs just mopped the floor. Yeah, with them. yeah. The Ravens, I turned the, it Ra- off. the Ravens are overhyped, man. Every, everybody's still like, everybody talks about Pittsburgh's Pittsburgh's winning the division. Yeah. 
Uh, you know, I turned I turned that game off at halftime, yeah. I, and I I only started watching it like I don't know the uh, the, I, the beginning of the second quarter. Yeah, and then by halftime, I was like, all right, I, I, I I've tur- had enough disappointment for the week I, of, I, in football. I I turned it off when it was twenty seven ten, and I seen this tweet by a member of Raider Nation who said. I wish our defense was half of what the Ravens was. And I was like, we are lo- they're losing 27 to 10. You're a moron, you're the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Delete your Twitter account. No. And then I shut the game. I turned it off and I just started <laughs> I just started texting back and forth with Q Dog. Yeah. And you know, and, and we were just both smack yeah. talking on Derek Carr and yes. uh and like, you know, both saying we're not He wants to come out. Okay. He wants to he he's really He's really eyeballing a trip to the Irish cottage for the Jets game. Okay, year. cool. So we'll, we'll see. Nice. You know, but nice. uh, I'll have a guest room and everything. And, <laughs> you know, we'll be good. <laughs> Promise we'll clean the house for you, Aaron. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that, that'd be cool. Yeah. And uh, he used to live in Middletown, actually. Oh, so he's familiar. Yeah, he's yeah. familiar. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, yeah, cool stuff, man. Yeah. Uh, got to got to bring him up there for that all that good food explosion that's going on in Middletown right now. Yeah, you know. Yeah, still got to get Murph and Mosh up here. Too. Yeah, definitely. You know. Yes. Looking forward to that. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I say we talk about what we're drinking now. Okay, we are drinking from Heavy Real Brewing Company. It's got a really cool like Bad Brains knockoff yeah. Yeah. label. Uh, we are drinking Death Grip. Which is uh, an IPA. Uh, weighs in at 7%. <laughs> These guys are from uh, Seaside Heights, New Jersey. So they're like uh, like two blocks off the beach. Nice. You know, so you get down there, get yourself a nice sausage and peppers, and uh, stroll over to them, get yourself some beers, and hit the beach. There you go. You know, because they're like real close down there, Seaside Heights. They're not. So. Their hours are weird. Yeah, they got little wonky hours now because of the whole COVID thing. But yeah, you know. But this is a great beer, man. Oh, it's excellent beer. Another one. No <laughs> lights coming through. No, no lights coming through this IPA. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty good. So I stopped there uh, last. I stopped there Saturday morning, and I picked this up. So yeah, and I was down there fishing. Fishing. Yep. Fishing down in Seaside Heights. Yes. Yeah, you were down for a couple days, man. Yeah, I went down Friday morning. Nice. You know, fished, hung out. Broke your foot. No, you did that at home. Yeah, I did that at home. Kicking I know. The va- I, I, kicking the vacuum. There was, live, <laughs> there was live music right outside of Tom's door. <laughs> and it was, it was a great rockabilly band. And it was actually uh, the bass player from... Uh, yeah, check these band out. Uh, Lara Hope and the Arctones. Um, the bass player and I have, uh, we've done some collaborations together. We actually recorded a couple songs that have never been released that are really good. And, uh, hopefully it was, uh, me, Matt from the Arkham's and Lara Hope and the Arctones and Fergal, uh, from Dublin, Ireland from an old 1980s era psychobilly band called shark bait. Okay. And, uh, we recorded, uh, a shark bait song. In Los Gatos Locos style, <laughs> and uh, and we have an original that we recorded together. Okay, called uh, "Eat Me From Within." All right, and uh, I have, you know, I have to track down the recordings from yeah. from. Uh, you know, now that you're getting new digs, I see a lot of music stuff in your future. Yeah, sure, <laughs> but you know. we had uh, we had they played outside and. Uh, very low attendance, which was a shame. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, got here and all the lights were off at Groby's place. <laughs> I'm like, where's Tom? You know, he was texting me for a little bit. Yeah. And then uh, he never came out. Yeah. And then Janine's like, knock on the door. I was like, no, it's obvious he doesn't feel like coming out. <laughs> no. I, I, I went back to sleep. <laughs> I was laying on the couch. I dozed off. And I opened my eyes, and I was like, I heard the guitar, and I was like, Reverend Horton Heat's outside. <laughs> <laughs> so I went outside, then I seen everybody. Yeah. But it was like the last two tunes. So. Yeah. Yeah, you, you yeah, you were outside well, and everybody, for the last And everybody's seen how my foot was swollen. So I was yeah. like, yeah, I ain't yeah. You know, coming out here and standing here. Yeah. <laughs> so. 
But uh, that was a great band. Everybody yes. check them out if you're uh, into uh, you know rockabilly, yeah, I mean, Americana, the two, whatever. Yes, the, the two the two tunes I heard, man, they were great. Man. No, they're, so, they're killer. Yeah, and that's not even the full band. That's yeah. like that was their trio because since COVID, they haven't all been able to get together. Yeah, because they live all over the place. You yeah. know, I think Matt Matt and Lara are in Kingston, New York. I think some of the other guys are actually in Manhattan or Brooklyn or oh, whatever. Okay. So it's it's kind of a you know yeah train wreck so uh they haven't had the full band together in fact that was the first gig they had their lead guitar player at in since before march nice so and uh i wish there were more than eight people in attendance well from what i heard from the owner of the bar she wants them back she does want them back yes yeah. Yeah. She wants them back with Zach and the Lowman. Yeah. And that, that'd that be a good show. That would be a good show. You know? Yeah. More Charlie Splatterhead crossover. There you go. See? Zach and the Lowman. <laughs> First Tombstone Brawlers yes. record that yeah. I recorded on was with... In, uh, in North Jersey, it's like six degrees of Charlie Splatterhead. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, in 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 so Zach and the Lowman is uh, Chris Zacker, who... Uh, was the rhythm guitar player on both Tombstone Brawlers albums. And then the drummer and bassist, the Lamoro brothers, yeah. were the bassist and drummer from the first album. Yes. And Flatus. And Flatus. <laughs> I don't well I don't think I don't think Bob was ever in Flatus. No, Mick, but was. Mick was. Mick was Mick was yes. the Mick was the, the Flatus drummer. So yeah. that ties in too, because we're always talking about Flatus. Yeah. <laughs> and we see Ted on Sundays. We see Ted on Sundays, yeah. I don't even think he's a football fan. No, he, he no, he's a comes big, to, he, he likes he likes the Mets. I he, think he likes the Mets and Islanders. He likes know, so. Mackie. Yeah, and he hangs out. He just out comes with, to hang out with Mackie. He comes down to hang out with Mackie. So uh so that's another you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah, it's all, it's all, <laughs> it's like with rock and roll, man, it's like inbreeding. Yes, exactly. You know, we just swap. Yeah. It's and, like New York City hardcore bands. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's been in every band. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tim, you know, we were supposed to, oh yeah, we canceled our Halloween show here. Oh uh, no. I, I just, you know, it yeah. wasn't, it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. So, but we'll, we'll make up for it. Okay. You know, we'll pick up Friday the 13th or something. There you go. It. And, uh, yeah, we'll make it happen. Yeah. But, uh. Yeah, Tim's in every band. Yeah. Tim is one of our uh, co-hosts on Anebra Nation. Yes. Everybody check out Anebra Nation, too. Yeah, man. yeah, check out our stuff over there, you know. Yeah. So. Check out, uh, yeah, check out Anebra Nation. We and, drink uh, and gab. Occasionally, we mention football. Occasionally. Yeah. Not so much anymore. Not but, so much anymore, but, you know, a lot of yeah. beers, food, music, drunk yep. news. Yeah, a lot of funny stuff. Yeah, man. you know, a lot of, you know, we're like the TMZ of booze. Yeah. <laughs> So, so well, I think I'm about done, man. Yeah, I, I, I got mean, I, I, you know, I don't want to make any predictions for Sunday. No, it, I, I just it's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough game, you know, and I just, you know, we need to. Johnny's got to show up, man. Play yeah. calling's got to be on, you know, give everybody what they give everybody something to work with, man. Yeah. You know, don't dra don't drastically change the game plan. And the defense has to. Yeah, the defense. They got to play all four quarters. If yeah. they play all four quarters like they played the first two quarters yeah. of of the uh, Patriots game, yeah. that's a good defense. Yes, it's. I'll say this: it's the defense week one, two, and three compared to last season. It's coming together. Yes, it, I think it's better. Yes, it's coming together. Yes, um, they really let me down in the, in the last part of that Patriots game. <laughs> yeah, they did. But I also think they were gassed. Yeah, that, so that I'm, has I'm a gonna, lot to do with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on too much judgment yeah. right now, and wait and see what happens. Yeah. But again, Raider Raider Nation Raider fans. Yeah. You are, or at least you should be. Used to disappointment. <laughs> so <laughs> stop trying to fire everybody really? and jumping off bridges uh, yep. and banging your head into yep. walls because yes. I don't know what team you've yes. been watching. Yeah, stop we, stop floating the Sam Darnold rumors to, to, to the Raiders. Stop. We've had one good <laughs> we've had one good season since two thousand and three. <laughs> yes. And <laughs> don't sabotage so, the next one. <laughs> so what why you're all freaking out now? Yeah, is yep. 
beyond me. Yeah. Um, you know, win, lose, or tie, Raiders <laughs> till we die, all yep. that jazz, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah, we're out, man. Till next time. All right. Later. <laughs> All right, uh, this is Tom. I guess uh, we're going to be wrapping up our show here. Um, if you have any questions for me or you want to call in and uh, talk about anything you want on uh, the Raider Fan Club Blitz, um, our number is 732-798-0257. Feel free. Ask me about Mr. Skittles. I love Mr. Skittles. Um, we're also going to give a shout out to the Irish Cottage, uh, our home base. They are located at 602 Route 23 North in Franklin, New Jersey. And their number is 973-827-2090. And, uh, give us a call. Let us know what you think. Questions, comments, anything you want to say. Feel free. Talk to you next week. Bye.